Hi, I'm Tommaso Riccardi from Flash God Apocalypse and we are here at the Voodoo in Dublin tonight. Now I would say I'm uh, happy about eight because um, you know I'm, I'm pretty much always happy with what I do and of course during the show it would be ten because playing is the best thing we could do. A lot of things <laughs> because this is the official year of you know promotion for Labyrinth and we have a lot of things going on and a lot of tours planning now so during this year probably we will play a, a huge amount of gigs because we're already on some some tours after this one we already confirmed in Japan and Australia and we're doing so this Southeast Asia tour and we are working on a lot of stuff for the United States and Europe again in the next future so probably and, and obviously we're gonna do a lot of uh, summer festival we're gonna be on back and we already confirmed so it's gonna be a very important year and in my opinion it could be also uh, you know a, a year that can really change our history because this is a very important moment since, since it's, this, this is the third album and they always say that the third album is the consecration album so I, I really agree because the fan base has been growing a lot during the last year and this year we have to confirm what the message we are trying to send around the world. The message is be true in any aspect. This is the message that I think we we send in some way. Obviously the message is musical, the message is through our concepts. We always try to bring some aspects of life in different forms. But I really I really think that the, the, the most important message in Flash God is be true and this, this is uh, something that we always try to keep within ourselves as friends and musicians. Try to always be there, not only physically, but with all that we have on stage, in the albums, in the music, and in whatever we do. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. What would the headline say? I don't know. Maybe... I, I would like, if my face was on the newspaper, I would like that it was for the band. So, you know, something about Flash God Apocalypse being the new, you know, the, the new metal band of the moment in the world. That, that would be my wish. With the typical Italian dressing, because we don't we don't use all this, you know. To, the, usually around the world, they put too much stuff on the salad. We just put olive oil because we have the best extra virgin oil in the world. We put salt. We put vinegar. That's it. That's the real thing. So if the salad is good, you don't need to put a lot of stuff on it. That's that's the point. Obviously, you have to have some good stuff into the salad, like tomatoes from Naples area <laughs> and shit, you know? But once you have the salad, dressing have to be light, but the ingredients have to be of high quality. This is what I think about everything in food and in life in general. Quality, not quantity. It's a, it's a pretty hard question. I don't know, uh, the, the, I would go with the scariest thing on tour because in life it would be too much complex to say probably because it's something very, <laughs> very long. Uh, but in, on tour, uh, one time we were playing in uh, Phoenix, Arizona and um, I, 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 there was a, an aggression to me while we were playing by one guy that was in the front row. So that was pretty scary because I felt like for the first time I felt exposed in some way to people uh, because obviously you are a band you you put out a lot of things and people can see you and, and you know sometimes people get obsessed with things so this 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 is something that scared me in some way because in the end it was okay because the security took care of it and everything but I really felt like wow I, I don't know why people should try to hurt me if they don't know me, so that, that was pretty scary. Uh, 
I have a hidden talent, not that much hidden because I'm almost uh, graduated in the pharmacy. I just have my thesis left and my family is a family of uh, uh, doctors and scientists so my father is a big scientist in his, in his field in biology and pharmacology so I really like to study that kind of stuff and I really think um, I, I choose to, to, to be a musician but on the other hand I really feel that I have a good talent for science in general and for chemistry, I really like chemistry so sometimes when I'm studying I say you know I, I could be a good scientist if I was not a musician but I think the two things are connected because it's a research and it's the same thing in music it's always a research so it's just a matter of being very curious and in my family there, there's, there's always been this aspect of being curious on many things on visual arts on uh, reading poetry and books in general so I, I really I've, I've grown with many stimulating you know things around me so that's that's uh, probably science is my second thing everybody is pretty the, the, the cool thing about flash god is that everybody in some way is completely crazy and in the meantime is very normal so we are there are not so many strange things but since you, you know, uh, suggested, I would say that uh, Cristiano is snoring all the time. So every time it's like, a and you have to fall asleep before him, otherwise you're not gonna sleep at all. So that, you know, I would say that. I'm sorry, Cristiano, uh, but I know he will take it in a, you know, calm way because he's the. On, on the other hand, he's the, he's the like, you know, the, um, the more balanced guy. In, in the band, so in some way he keeps everything going because he's very calm and quiet, so he knows how to interact with people. Most of us are like ah, ah, crazy all the time, so Cristiano is a good guy. <laughs> First of all, thank you for supporting because obviously this is, you know, everybody says this but it's very important to remind people that we, were, we would not exist without fans following the band. And on the other hand, I would follow what I was saying before, I always want to say be true because that's the only thing that you have.